Hey guys, so I'm starting today's Get Ready With Me with the 2 Hour Express Dark Self Tanning Mousse from Loving Tan. I'm also going to grab the applicator mitt and use that to apply this all over my body. I love this tanning mousse because it gives such a dark and deep color. It's super natural looking and it's really easy to apply so I don't get any streaks or unwanted lines. I buff this in all over just by working in small circular motions. I pay extra close attention to areas like my neck, knees, ankles and wrists. Those are the areas that may be prone to streaking more. Then I take one of these big buffing brushes and I buff it in all over my face. It may look a little crazy at first, but after sitting, it will be great. This bronze shimmer lotion is my new favorite. This cream is so creamy and it gives an instant extra dark look to your tan. You can wear it either on its own or wear it over the self tan that you had just applied. I'm just adding this for a little bit of extra shimmer and a little bit of extra depth to my tan. I'm moisturizing my lips before I start my makeup and then since I just applied this self tan and my face is extra dark, I'm taking a charcoal face wipe and just kind of wiping down my face to even out my skin tone before I apply my makeup. This Amazing Cosmetics Line Smoothing Primer is amazing. It has these little micro beads for a super smooth application. So I add those into the fine lines on my face just to fill them in and smooth everything out before I go in with my regular primer. Of course, I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz to fill in my brows. I'm going in kind of a weird order right now. And then the Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. This is great for a day when you put a tan on because it adds a little bit of color to your face so it, again, kind of smooths everything out before you apply your regular makeup. The L'Oreal Pro Glow is a great foundation for days like this when you're trying to get a glowy look that's kind of dewy and natural, very shimmery for the holidays. I'm using the Maybelline Better Skin Powder Foundation to kind of pat over that and mat it down just a tiny bit. It. Then this Amazing Cosmetics Concealer really is awesome. It has great coverage. It's super thick, super creamy, really easy to work with, especially when combined with the primer from before. It just glides on your face really nicely. I've been loving using the Tardis palette with makeup by Shayla to set underneath my eyes. This yellow toned color just sets really nicely. It really complements the concealer and gives a good well-rounded look to your face. Then I'm taking the lighter ashy brown color and beginning to contour with that all over. This Makeup Revolution palette has been my go-to for the holidays. It's a great affordable palette that you can pick up at Ulta. It has a lot of rich tones, a lot of cool tones, so I like to take the pewters, burgundies, and deep silvers to make a nice, easy, affordable holiday look. Going back in with the Tardis palette, I'm taking the lightest highlighting shade and just highlighting the inner corner of my eye as well as underneath my brow bone. I'm mixing Rose Spritz and Amaretto from the Jaclyn Hill and Becca palette. This is my go-to blush combination. I love the warm yet glitzy look that it gives. Then I'm taking ColourPop Wisp. Some say that this is a dupe for Champagne Pop. I love this highlight. I use my ring finger to apply it just because I feel like it gives a light and airy look to your face. Then of course I have to go over it with Champagne Pop just for that extra highlight. I'm completing the look with Angel from Kylie Cosmetics. This has been my favorite lip color lately. Then I just gotta fix this hair and we will be set. For my outfit, I mixed a couple cozy pieces with this sparkly sequin skirt to create a casual yet sparkly and festive holiday look.
My earrings, sweater, and skirt are actually all from Forever 21, while my booties and my bag are both from Target. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.